morning. Morning, we literally rolled out of bed. Today's my date day for Brandon. Brandon had his last week, which our video went up if you wanna see it up in the corner, but it is 7.30 a.m. Someone's coming to pick us up and we're going to our first activity. What do you think we're doing? Well, originally I thought we were going to the museum and now we're definitely working out. Brandon just said, what the hell are we doing, bruh? <laughs> we're here. I don't know. Okay. Is that a tennis ball? Is that a tennis ball? What is that? Oh, yeah, tennis ball. <laughs> Fun. Just had our first, what is it called? Paddle ball lesson. Paddle ball lesson. It's like a mixture of tennis and... Pickleball and tennis. Yeah. It's pretty fun. It was super fun and they had a really nice, it was like really nice setup that they had in there. Mm -hmm. It was like Lux. Very Lux. Paddle ball. They just opened. And now, where are we going? We may be going to a breakfast. Hello, so I went on a secret rendezvous mission and yesterday we were in Izmiyaki. Brandon tried on this jumpsuit that he loved, but he decided not to buy it, so I went and picked it up for him. Oh yeah, hun, one more surprise for you. What? Come here. I don't think it is. We popped in at home to do a little bit of freshening up. Did a quick little outfit change. This is my outfit. Got my new New Balances on. Brando. What's happening? Put the tones. But we are headed to our next adventure. Woo! This morning we did paddle ball, which was actually really fun, right? Really fun. And I actually found that place on TikTok. And we went and I'm glad we did lessons instead of just like free playing because we don't kind know of, the rules. Yeah, kind of different rules. Yeah. So new skill to work on. Uh -huh. Pretty we'll fun. To, yeah, we'll have to try and find some courts maybe in uh, LA. rug making and took us about what two hours yeah we're pretty quick yeah. so we grabbed a quick little snack and now we are popping in at home just to rest for a little bit have some work to do and then we have lunch reservations at three good job today so far bubby who did better comment down below
guys, I think I officially just lost the competition. <laughs> I appreciate any moral votes, but I think I just lost. Yeah, Lynn, that lunch was lit. That lunch was incredible. I didn't realize they won the Michelin star for so many years in a row. Yeah. I don't really know how the Michelin thing works, but I think they have one Michelin star, but they had a plaque from 2010 to 2020. So they had 10 Michelin star <laughs> plaques. But I know they're they're featured in a couple of like Michelin star guides. Infatuation said it's like they rated the first review was for the number one restaurant in New York and Casamano was like the seventh review they ever wrote. So mm. Okay, yeah. should we bike? Or subway? See you guys later. friends it has now been a couple days later oops um, but we had so much fun on my date day and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it was very wholesome and we just wanted to do like a quick little recap share thoughts on everything and it's funny because like friends that we've seen and stuff like that when we shared that we did rug making they're like where did you even do that and that was definitely one of the highlights for us and we actually go back um, later this weekend to go pick up the finished rugs and see how it'll look so if you guys are interested I'll probably make a TikTok or post about it on my Instagram so make sure you follow me there so you see that but very wholesome day we did some really mm -hmm. unique things and our paddle ball lesson was really really fun what was your favorite part probably the paddle ball rug making in Casamano was probably my favorite those three things were my favorite <laughs> Okay, so the first half Those of the day. Those were the highlights. Yeah, no, it definitely was good. Dinner was really, really good, but dinner was also like, was tough to justify. Yeah, it was, We first of all, our reservation was at like 9 p.m. And I was running off of like no sleep, had a long last few days, and then our morning started early. So I was just like, by the time dinner came, I was delirious. But dinner was really good. It was just really expensive. And it was kind of like a high-end... Mexican, Mexican restaurant, restaurant just kind of like ridiculously almost like extravagantly expensive yeah we had a really fun date day um, I think this is something that we want to start doing a little bit more especially mm -hmm. because it forces us to go outside of our comfort zone and do more than just dinner and, and also like, just try new things yeah try new things find things that are like kind of not standard date day mm -hmm. activities yeah so we had a lot of fun um maybe we'll do this back in la if you guys have any other like date idea mm -hmm. things that you and your partner like to do let us know down below we're always looking for fun new things to do together but i hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed the video thumbs up this video if you think i did better go to the other video where brandon planned his date day let him know how he did i think he did a great job but I think I want this. And we'll this. vote by whoever gets the most thumbs up. When's the best date day? And they win some sort of mystery prize. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye.